O ye na di e na do po go, o juma lo po go, o juma. O ye na di e na lo po go, o juma lo po go, o juma. Mbwe mugara i bo hongo, o juma bo hongo, o juma. Mbwe mugara i bo hongo, o juma lo po go, o juma. Ha kwa nye kwa mna pituju. Ojoma pitudo, ojoma. Ha piyanyo kwa muna pitudo, ojoma pitudo, ojoma. Ha piyanyo kwa muna pitudo, ojoma pitudo, ojoma. Oye na di ya na lukoko, ojoma lukoko, ojoma. Oye na di ya na lukoko, ojoma lukoko, ojoma. Mwe mugara ibo hongo, Ojoma bo hongo, ojoma. Mwe mugara ibo hongo, ojoma lo pongo, ojoma. Ha, kwa nye kwa muna pitudu, ojoma pitudu, ojoma. Ha, kwa nye kwa muna pitudu, ojoma pitudu, ojoma. Ha, kwa nye kwa muna pitudu, ojoma kudu, ojoma. Nji de kabia wala munga mo, ipa mbele ke. Nji de kabia wala munga mo, ipa mbele. Nji de kala wala munga mo, ipa mbele ke. Nji de kala wala munga mo, ipa mbele ke. Ipa mma joko joko joko, ipa mma ojo ojo, ipa mma joko joko joko, ipa mma oyo, ipa mma joko joko joko, ipa mma oyo, ipa mma joko, ipa mma oyo, ipa mma joko. Mama Ojo Ojo Gini mere waniga Waniga o waniga Gini mere waniga Waniga o waniga Na upa daburu waniga Waniga o waniga Gini mere ukwa ho Waniga o waniga Na mpo mawara upa Na upa daburu waniga, waniga o waniga. Gini mere mpa ho, waniga o waniga. Na keka tara mpo, na mpo mawala upa. Na upa daburu waniga, waniga o waniga. Gini mera keka ho, waniga o waniga. No kuko tara keka, na keka tara mpo. Na mpo mawala upa, na upa daburu waniga. Waniga o waniga, gini me roko ka, waniga o waniga, na ebwe bu roko ko, no kuko tara kika, na kika tara mpo, na mpo mawara upa, na upa daburu waniga, waniga o waniga, gini me re ebwa, waniga o waniga, na ebwe buru ewe, na ebwe bu roko ko, no kuko tara kika, Na kika para mpo, na mpo mawara upa, na upa daburu waniga, waniga o waniga. Gini mele ebwa, waniga o wa, na uzu mele ebwe, na ebwe buru ebwe, na ebwe buru kuko, no kuko tara kika, na kika tara mpo, na mpo mawara upa, na upa daburu waniga, waniga o waniga. Gini mere uswa ho, gini mere ebwa ho, waniga o, na uzu mere ebwe, na ebwe buru ebwe, na ebwe buru kuko, no kuko tara kika, na kika tara mpo, na mpo mawara upa, na upa daburu waniga, waniga o waniga, gini mere uswa ho, waniga o wa, Na chuku mere uzu, na uzu mere ewe, na ewe huru ewe, na ewe huru kuko, na kuko tara kika, na kika tara mpo, na mpo mawara ukwa, na ukwa daburu waniga, waniga o waniga. Cha, 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 ibo kwenu, uwe. Cha, 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 ibo kwenu, uwe. Cha, cha. Cha cha, ibo kwenu, uwe, abya, kwenu, uwe, 
Anambra kwenu. Uwe. Ebo yi kwenu. Uwe. Enugu kwenu. Uwe. Imo kwenu. Uwe. Nigeria. Kwezu ono. Yoro. Fucha. Hello friends and families and beautiful ones. I welcome you all again to my segment, my Igbo segment. Let's learn everything about the Igbo. I am your regular host, Mazi Bibo, a full-fledged Igbo son and teacher of Igbo language, culture and traditions, including general issues that affect our lives in society, the lives of the Igbo and the lives of the non-Igbo. You heard the songs I sang earlier when I started. The songs connote what we call folklore, and I believe almost all of us listen because we are adults and educated, you know, at least to the high school level, we should be able to know what folklore mean. Okay, for the benefit of those who do not know the meaning, folklore mean items, songs, myths, and beliefs handed down to us from our legendary forefathers. These songs I sang earlier on are songs handed with, they are one of the songs handed down to the present age. So we usually sing these songs among others. We use these songs to indicate one thing or the other. When a particular thing takes effect, one song that really befits it will be used to kind of create awareness or meaning to what immediately surrounds the environment. So that is one of the advantages of, of folklore. So for those who do not understand, I believe we now do know what folklore mean. You can hear about um, uh, fairy tales, they are part of the folklore. They say, I, where you hear the tortoise and the wife and the other animals, you know, tortoise usually being the one that comes with a lot of tricks. A very tricky animal known for um, its sharpness, its wittiness, it's always wit in terms of trying to outdo other animals. That's one of the things that is, is known for. Okay, now sometimes you hear when people are walking, they might sing a particular song. You know, sometimes you hear at that particular moment, what that song signifies is that it's a kind of encouraging people who are at work, men at work to be specific. So the song now encourages them to work. As they walk and sing, they forget they are actually undergoing some stress. So the song helps to ease the job they are doing. Remember I told you, each particular song, song, in any um, occasion, actually befits that very occasion. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many folklores that, uh, you know, I won't be able to sing all of them because of time. I just sang a few. You know, I promise you that there are so many things you gain when you are a subscriber of my channel. And I am committed, I've always said that, I am totally committed to making sure that you benefit from each title or each subject that I present. And I also remember, I've always told you that if you've got a question, you should feel free to ask, 100% free, I demand from your hand, ask me any kind of question. See, words don't get words when they are still in the mouth, you know. Verbal words, they don't get bad, they don't get too worse until they have been spoken. You have to speak at first, then you await the reply or response. So ask your question. Don't say, oh, I don't know if I ask this question. This particular guy or this man will say, that question is stupid. There is no question that is a stupid question. Okay? There is nobody who asks a question that is considered being daft. It's even... You, you can start looking stupid if you don't ask a question and I, in the long run you go you, in the long run you make a mistake so it's always better much better for anyone to ask questions when you ask questions they'll be cleared those questions will be cleared and you who have asked them will also benefit that's just how it is 
So Igbos have got a lot of folklore. You know, we believe so much in traditions and cultures, uh, one of which the folklore depicts. You understand? So if you don't, when you want to talk about the Igbo, you should be talking about folklore because folklore relates to our traditions. It's part of us. It's what we live with, what lives in us. Folklore live in us and we live in them because it's all about tradition. So whenever you see an Igbo man or an Igbo woman, you can ask any of the especially those that were burned, bred, okay, fed and trained in any part of the remote or the remotest area in Igbo land, typically Igbo setting. Ask you a question like, okay, what kind of folklore depicts this? What kind of folklore depicts that? Then await the person to give you a sound response. And for better understanding, I would advise you ask your question, you ask the elderly ones in the remotest parts of the um, Igbo land your question, and they will clear you. They will make sure that whatever you've asked will be clarified. Okay, you'll be clarified, and the questions will be made clear. You know, they, uh, why this particular thing is used, why this particular song is sung, will be made clear to you. Then you will benefit. When you have understood something, that means you benefited from that, and that's just the way it is. Okay, guys, when next we meet, we have to go to this the, the, another part of these folklore. Okay, so for you to start understanding folklore after folklore. All right, guys, that's all for now, folks. All right, catch you some other time. Good night, everyone. Love you all. Oh, Oh, ye na di ya na lu po go, o jo ma lu po go, o jo ma, mbwe mu gara i ga ho go, o jo ma ga ho go, o jo ma, ha, kwa nye kwa mu na pitu ju, o jo ma pitu ju, o jo ma.